At the outset, I would like to say sorry for uh, coming late. I made you waited for a quite long time because of some busy schedule. Uh, normally, I don't, uh, during uh, morning hours, we don't uh, normally accept uh, any invitations for functions because we will be busy since uh, 6 o'clock, uh, 6.30 in the morning up to 10, 10.30. So I was compelled, so I was um, and also I was compelled myself to, to see uh, the children around here. So I'm always happy to meet uh, the people, um, school students, college students. That's why I accepted and uh, though I came late, I wanted to participate in this function. Today I'm sorry sir for coming late. And um, so, uh, respected chairman, respected uh, principal, correspondent, honorable uh, honor teachers. Why honor teachers? Because they are the stepping stones, the ladders in your life. They remain here. Uh, the ladder remains here, but you climb up in your life through the ladder and fly away to reach the pinnacle in your life. So they are the most important part in your life. So they are always honored teachers. Most of all of you are sitting very happily, but I can see the tension in their face. How this function should go, how these uh, things are going, uh, uh, how the students are behaving. So many things are uh, in their mind. So they are always tensed because they, they want to see the whole function as a successful, eventful uh, uh, function. So I always have a specific, uh, special uh, you know, respect for our uh, teachers. Even during my school days, um, I still in contact, in touch with some of my uh, teachers. So teachers are always honored like your parents. So friends, I don't want to take much of your time because already you are bored sitting here because today, is, as your chairman said, it is a sports day. You will be lively uh, uh, running around and uh, enjoying your uh, sports and all, games and sports. So just uh, a few minutes I take and uh, give you some, uh, just, uh, I take just a few minutes. So friends, for a healthy development of each individual, as a society as a whole, Three things are important, a healthy body, healthy mind and a peaceful, uh, strong, healthy heart. So the body, mind and heart, all the three uh, are very, very essential and important for uh, individuals to grow so that a healthy human being can grow uh, so that if these three things are healthy, the society will also be healthy. This, I can see such a huge gathering. Still some, uh, some of the small kids are stationed there, uh, almost invisible. So I can see uh, the popularity of uh, the school, a beautiful campus. And uh, so it's a huge uh, establishment so that I can see huge uh, intake for the school because I could see the standard. Ultimately, the standard of education should be very high. So, your teachers take care of your healthy mind, isn't it? So, what remains? The body and heart. So, for your body, healthy body, you need some exercise. You have to involve yourself in sports, games. I have seen your, so one of your friends to read out the sports report. A lot of uh, people involved in district level, state level, uh, national level, some of them are national level. I really appreciate their effort. I wish them all the best to achieve still more. They should, uh, I wish them to participate in uh, uh, international level in all uh, in their endeavor so 
to that extent, I am also happy that this school is giving importance to the development of your healthy body. That's not uh, enough. Some of you, most of you might have uh, involved yourself in uh, sports and games activity. Each and everyone should uh, you know, find a you know, passionate game, sports, whether it is running event, track events, or games, or individual events, so a shuttlecock, a tennis. So each and every one of you should, in, in, should involve yourself to maintain your healthy body. Involve yourself in some kind of activity, sports or games activity, whether it is in your school or you have to make arrangement privately. Even uh, going for a morning walk, whether it is possible or whether uh, or not, I don't know, for the school kids. But uh, if you try, you can do. At least in the evening, you should yourself involve, uh, at least for an hour, you go for a, with your friends so that you can have interaction with your friends, go for play, some games. So that is always important. Study, study alone is not enough. That is, that is most important part, but that is not alone is enough. So that message I want to give you, every one of you should develop some kind of sports or games activity. Each and every one of you, take it as a, um, a strong message so that in your long life, you will have a, it is very, very important for you to have a healthy body. It, you, it, no disease should touch you. Third thing is your heart. A peace, peaceful, healthy heart is always required. You have to involve yourself, find yourself some peace. How do you find peace? You have to engage yourself some kind of activities. Some, you have to develop a hobby. Hobby is very, very important in your life. Even in your, uh, uh, after completing your studies and all, when you go for uh, uh, jobs, like, you know, IAS officer, IPS officer, on any civil service, on even in a private uh, companies, people ask for uh, what, is, what is your hobby is. They don't want your knowledge alone. How, expert, how much expert, expertise you have earned, how knowledgeable you are, that's not alone is enough because they also look for whether you are also involved in any other activities other than your academic activity. So hobby cannot be developed over a night. Tomorrow you cannot take a flute and uh, play. Tomorrow, the day after tomorrow you cannot join a class and uh, violin and uh, just uh, start playing uh, next day. It is totally, it, it's completely impossible. But you have to, from this, this is the occasion. This is an occasion, this is the stage, school days, is the stage when you have to involve yourself, find an in, uh, interesting field and develop it as a hobby. Later, if, if it is possible, some of you can also take it as a profession. Whatever may be, it, it may be a painting, you can be interested in painting, it can, you can be interested in some instrumental uh, uh, music, uh, learning instrumental music, any, any instrument or you can learn songs. So many people collect coins. There are people collect coins, stamps, and so many hobbies. Some, some of you may be interested in uh, you know, growing bonsais or trees, gardening in your house. If you I found a small piece of you know, land, even a 10 by 10 square feet, if you find a place where you can develop small garden. Okay, so that is how uh, you, are, you have to develop uh, a hobby that is the part of your the heart. So, friends, with that message, just to re reiterate this, for the healthy development of your body, mind and heart, you have to 
Involve yourself not only academically but also in sports and the hobby activities. That is a message, a message I want to leave you here. In some other occasion, some other uh, the, these things, we can talk about my own field, law, or uh, uh, rules, regulation, which are on daily use. Second message, only second message, which are very, very essential for your life. You can see people ride two-wheelers. Most of you might, uh, might be coming in uh, two-wheelers without helmet. Wearing helmet is a must, mandatory as per law. It, it is not the, the thing that you have to wear helmet just because it is a mandatory. It basically, it is a life-saving life, life uh, effort. Most of you, I can see uh, people riding two-wheelers without helmet. Accident don't happen daily. Accident uh, don't happen as you invite. It happens accidentally. Anytime it may happen. So we have to protect our, in our head. If we protect our head, even an accident, simple accident, without helmet, a head injury will cause in a serial fatal injury. Not only you, you go and insist to your parents, your father, your brothers, your sisters, tell them today itself, tell them to wear helmet. Tell them, don't go without helmet. Okay, will you do it? Will you do it? That is not only for you, for your family, family members, your friends, your relatives, even your neighbor. If you see your uncle, some nearby neighbor going in a two-wheeler without helmet, uncle, please wear your helmet for your safety only. That will, you know, a small kid says to a 40, 50-year-old man, he will definitely listen to it. Yeah, see a small kid say something, then that will go into his, his heart. Okay, that is the message I want to leave you for a life-saving, life, life protection uh, effort from as a law enforcement uh, person from law, law enforcement agency. So friends, I wish you all the best for all the participants and uh, a great success and I also wish this management, chairman, principal, correspondent, all the teachers, a great day ahead and uh, um, wish you a success in all endeavor, in our education. Giving education is, is the most, most important thing in one's life. So, உங்களுக்கு வந்து இப்போ ஒரு கல்வி பணியை வந்து மிக சிறப்பாக செஞ்சிட்ருக்காங்க அவங்களுக்கு எனக்கு மனமார்ந்த வாழ்த்துக்கள் மேலும் மேலும் இந்த இன்ஸ்டியூஷன் மேலும் மேலும் வளர்ந்து ஏன்னா ஒரு பெரிய இன்ஸ்டியூஷனாக பல்வேறு கிளைகள் ஆரம்பித்து மக்களுக்கு பணி செய்ய எனது மனமார்ந்த வாழ்த்துக்களை தெரிவித்துக் கொண்டு இந்த சூழ்நிலை உங்கள் அனைவருக்கும் நன்றியை தெரிவித்து விடைபெறுகிறேன் நன்றி வணக்கம்